सो हे गाइस वेलकम यू ऑल टू टी शास्त्र चैनल अगेन एंड सॉरी फॉर डिलेइंग द वीडियोस एंड आई एम थिंकिंग दैट यू आर ऑल आर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ऑन मी बिकॉज आई आई डेंट पोस्ट एनी वीडियोस फ्रॉम वन मंथ दिस इज बिकॉज द कोविड नाइन्टीन सिचुएशन क्वाइट लाइक इट्स नॉट वेरी हेल्पफुल इन मेकिंग वीडियो फॉर मी एंड देर इज अल्थ इश्यू एज वेल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू know about where should we should start learning flutter and what to learn first and how to learn there is a road map for learning flutter so yes there is and i find it very helpful i will drop it in the description you can download it from there and yes so let's roll out the video so there are two ways in my opinion to learn flutter first one Uh, you can learn by learning things like you have learned all the basic concepts and things and now you are going to build applications and i don't prefer this because it's a quite old method uh, you doesn't get the development experience throughout the learning period so i prefer developing way like you develop small apps while you learning something okay so so first start with a single screen applications like i did i did uh, like color changer application did and there is a, also a calculator app and uh, there are some ui applications as well so it's quite useful for me to get grasp of basic concepts in flutter so you can also start with animation applications and if you have like uh, done all these things yeah. so you could uh, go out and check about uh, what is packages in flutter how it can be helpful for you to develop applications like there are lots of medium articles as well where you get very useful resources and like tutorials how uh, to uh, do small things and even the bigger things as well and after that you should start developing network application where you going to like fire a api request so what is api i guess i made already a video on it and so api basically are co uh, organized code you just get it by the http request http request is basically a network request so after this you have a question like what management like state management thing i should use this state management basically Uh, how your uh, data will uh, go throughout your application so there are uh, quite a uh, large number of uh, state management things like there is a set state method there is a provider uh, state management there is a block inherited widget and data x it's a newest one and i prefer three most useful state managements like set state provider and block so set state uh, basically consume lot of resources if you use it uh, oftenly and without like meaning less places and provider quite a good and quite easy to work with but it's only work for like uh, small application or you can say on device uh, application uh, where you are not going to fire a network calls if you are going to fire network calls quite in large number so you should uh, consider block pattern like uh, the flutter official said that uh, you should use block if you are quite a large number of network calls so you should consider it so uh, i think this video is, is getting very bigger so let's end the, this video and uh, how do you think that uh, this video help you and do you want to me to m produce more videos like on flutter and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel uh, follow me on insta as well tshastra03